Hey guys, what's up? I miss you all so much and I hope that we are able to see each other soon. But unfortunately for now, this is how we're going to have to do our social skills lessons. Um, each day you guys are going to get a video to watch and then you will have either a worksheet or some questions to answer from what we had discussed. Um, it will be in your parents' email and I will send that out every morning to you guys. Um, and so today, what I want to talk to you about is the coronavirus. So we're going to read a Scholastic Choices article, um, and then I'm going to have you do two worksheets. And before we start reading the article, I want you guys to pull out this worksheet. What do you know? And there are five questions here that you are going to read, and then you are going to decide if the statement is true or false before we start reading the article. So go ahead and pause the video now, take a few minutes, and go ahead and fill out those five questions. And then whenever you are finished, you can go ahead and unpause it, and I will begin reading the article. So this article is called Five Big Questions About Coronavirus. Here's what you need to know about the new illness and how to stay healthy. And as we read this, I want you guys to think about uh, some of the ways, what are some of the ways people are trying to stop the spread of the new coronavirus? So the, number one, what is the new coronavirus? The new coronavirus is a virus that causes a disease known as COVID-19. This new coronavirus was detected in Wuhan, China late last year. It swept through the city and then spread to other parts of China. The virus was soon spread to other countries, including the US, by people who traveled while infected. Both the numbers of people infected and the number killed by COVID-19 have been increasing every day. On March 11th, the World Health Organization declared a pandemic. A pandemic is an outbreak of a disease that spreads rapidly and affects many people in different areas around the globe. Across the world, governments are trying to control the outbreak by restricting travel, closing businesses and schools, and educating citizens about how to stay safe. Number two, let's back up. What exactly is a virus? A virus is a type of microscopic germ that can cause an illness. There are hundreds of thousands of different viruses. If you've ever had a runny nose or a stuffy nose, there's a good chance that you caught a virus that causes the common cold. Um, a most se severe virus that we hear a lot about each winter is the influenza virus or the flu. Uh, so then is the coronavirus like the flu? Sort of. Like the flu, this coronavirus causes a respiratory illness, so it affects the nose, throat, and lungs. Both types of viruses produce some of the same symptoms, such as a cough and a fever. Also, experts think the new coronavirus spreads much like other viruses do. When infected people sneeze or cough, they can release the virus into the air and infect other people nearby. So what makes this virus different? This virus is completely brand new, so doctors are still learning about what makes it unique. Viruses are like a big family, explains Dr. Mark Dennison, an infectious disease specialist. They are all related, but they have different personalities. Dennison and other doctors around the world are working to learn about the new virus's personality, like how quickly and easily it spreads and how to fight it. The goal is to eventually develop a vaccine, which doctors say is the best defense against many viruses. A vaccine is a shot that contains harmless parts of the virus, and this vaccine is meant to train your immune system to recognize the virus and to be able to fight it off. Um, health experts are working to have a COVID-19 vaccine ready in about a year. Should we be worried? Health experts say that most kids are not at high risk for COVID-19. Even when children get the virus, they usually do not get sick. But the virus is a very serious threat to adults who are older or who have certain medical conditions, like lung disease. Federal, state, and local governments are taking steps to keep everyone as safe as possible. In many places, schools and businesses have been temporarily closed to prevent people from spreading the virus. Concerts, sports events, and other big gatherings have also been canceled. In addition, people who might have been exposed to the virus are being quarantined and will be closely monitored to see if they show symptoms. Health officials say you should follow the current rules and guidelines in your community. You should also take the same steps you would to avoid getting or spreading a cold. Wash your hands frequently and sneeze or cough into a tissue or your elbow. So... After we read that article, there are some, you know, tips and ways that you guys can avoid getting sick. So washing your hands frequently with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, um, about the same time it takes to sing happy birthday twice. You can use hand sanitizer, um, just making sure that it has at least 60% alcohol. Um, you want to apply that the same way as your hand soap for 20 seconds, rubbing it between your hands and your fingers. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Um, if somebody else is sick, keep your distance if you can, even if it's just a few feet. Uh, cough and sneeze into a tissue, then toss the tissue in the trash. If you don't have a tissue, uh, cough or sneeze into your elbow, and then wash your hands. And then most importantly, staying home when you are sick to avoid spreading whatever you may have. 
Um, so that's that article. And you guys can go back through if you need to, to, you know, answer the questions for the worksheet. And now on this, what do you know worksheet, I want you guys to go back through and fill out the second section. So after we read the article, did you find out that these statements were in fact true or false? And then I want you to compare your answers. And then I want you guys in the text evidence box to support your answer um, with evidence from the article. Um, and then some questions that I want you guys to type up for me. Um, how are people trying to stop the spread of the new coronavirus? Um, I want you to compare and contrast the coronavirus and the flu. Um, and explain what Dr. Dennison means when he says viruses are like a big family. So when you guys are finished with that, that's all you'll have to do for today, Monday, sorry, Monday, March 30th. Um, and then I will have more content on here for you guys tomorrow. So I, ho I hope you guys have a great day. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out um, by email or you guys can have your parents call me, whatever works. See you later.